Hi everyone, my name is Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. We're a family owned RV dealer in Pickwell, Ohio. Uh, to find out more about us, just pause this video and go to Google, type in Paul Sherry RVs. There you'll see our Google reviews off to the right. Uh, nearly 500 reviews right now, so uh, we really strive to produce a very good reputation uh, for an RV business, which is not all the time the case, unfortunately, uh, but we do strive to have a really good rating there. Uh, and we do that just by treating our customers how we would like to be treated. Uh, today, I'm sitting inside of a motorhome that's come back into production. So the reason of these videos is to kind of show you, our viewer, uh, what's new and interesting out in the industry, uh, what the new floor plans are, what's going on, what's the new gadgets and features, and also to encourage you to give us the opportunity to earn your business if you are shopping for an RV. So this particular RV is a brand new 2020 Thor Chateau 28A. Now I've been in the, in the industry uh, for, I don't know, 13, 14 years now. And when I first got in this floor plan, it's a 28 foot class C with no slide, queen bed that you can walk around in the back, was the top selling floor plan in the industry. And it was about five, maybe six years ago, this floor plan just disappeared. No one was building it and I was just baffled as why. And then I got an email about three months ago saying, hey, we're bringing it back. And I was super excited because these are great motorhomes. They've always sold well. They're just very practical. Uh, they're very, uh, very good on price as well. So that is really, really neat. Uh, also, someone was coming in the other side. I was just looking to see who that was. Also, let's just take a look and uh, I'll show you a little bit about it. So again, this is a 2020 Thor Chateau. This has the white exterior on it. You can see it has a power awning on it. There's those folks that was coming in the other side. Uh, also, this is a gel coat finish on the exterior fiberglass. So it's going to look good for years and years to come. What they do is they put a gel coat on the finish of the fiberglass. That allows you to not see the individual fibers and allows it to really look very, very sharp. Chateaus come with a one-piece fiberglass front cap, as you can see here. So that cap's going to roll all the way around to the other side and really look nice. Uh, it keeps the front end of this motorhome really nice and, and tight, where there's a lot of stress typically up here on the front of this. This is built on the Ford E450 chassis with a Triton V10 as the engine. This is a tried and true chassis, uh, tried and true engine and powertrain as well. Really good looking decals along the side here. Comes with the Onan 4000 kilowatt generator. That'll allow you to use everything in this motorhome at any particular spot that you may be at. So you don't necessarily have to be plugged in to get power to this motorhome with that onboard generator. Also notice the nice tinted windows, that's going to allow for some privacy. And it'll also, on a sunny day like today, keep the, the sun from really beating down and heating it up in there. Got some compartments down here, your propane is in that one. You have a lighted compartment here, just a little nook there. But don't think that's all there is, because there is a giant compartment back here. So this is accessible from three sides. It has uh, rotocast tubs in it with drains so you can literally hose this whole compartment out to clean it up and you can use those tubs as big coolers it has a spot for a spare tire underneath the circle one there more storage underneath this one and then this white one is actually a table it's a folding table so you use it as a picnic table which is really cool but just look how big that storage is all the way through to the other side so that's eight foot wide but probably four foot deep there uh, and they, probably three or four foot tall. A lot of storage. Ladder to get up to access the roof. And we have a power awning on this, so. All right, let's go take a look inside. Again, this is a non-slide 28A Thor Chateau. Very affordable motorhome, very practical motorhome. This is a uh, probably the top produced floor plan for rentals and they, they the reason they do that is because this is just a durable and easy to use motorhome 
Steps to get up are built in. Notice no power steps. They build this chassis low enough to the ground where you've got a nice entryway so you don't have any power steps that stop working on you. All right, coming up, looking towards the cab of the motorhome, we have a nice big overhang bunk room, the captain's chairs, easy access. What they've done here from floor is they've cut this out here. Now that bunk will of course fold over for where when you're sleeping up there, but for access in and out of the cab, it makes it really nice having that cut out. So I can go right from the motor home to the cab. In the cab spot, the driving controls are just like it would be in your automobile. You notice you have your cruise controls here on the steering wheel. You have your shifter up to the right, turn signal over to the left. Heating and air conditioning controls are just the same as well. And this also has a built-in radio and backup monitor. Looking from the front to the back, we have a nice couch off to the left. It comes out down for extra sleeping. Same with this dinette booth. This is a dream dinette. It's gonna come down very nice for extra sleeping. Also has a couple beverage holders in there and it has seat belts on both sides of the dinette, which is really unique. And of course the couch has seat belts as well. Nice kitchen here. It has the newer upgraded countertop, which allows you to uh, do a sunk down stainless steel sink. And they've gone to a big basin sink, which is really nice. We're seeing this in the industry more and more is just a single basin sink instead of a split sink. Uh, and the reason they're doing that is because with the single basin, you can actually fit your pot in there to wash it. With the split sink, the sink itself is not big enough to be able to fit your pot in there. So that's nice. And then having, having these uh, sink covers here, just maximizes the usable countertop space for when you're not using that sink you can use it as uh, you know maybe a prep area there's a cover over the stove top here as well nice glass cover that's covering your three burner LP gas range and here is your nice oven microwave above here and then across from this is the uh, RV refrigerator and freezer portion up top, refrigerator portion down below. All right, so walking through the hallway, we have what they call a split bath. Your shower, stand up shower, is going to be along the right here. Has a nice skylight in it. I'm six foot tall, and this ceiling is really nice and tall in here. I'm not going to be touching my head to the ceiling once I get in that shower. And then off to the left here is the rest of your bathroom. So you have your stool in here, you have some cabinet space, you have spot for toilet paper and things of that sort, sink with hot and cold water, you even have some cab or countertop space here with some plug-ins for, you know, hair dryers and things of that sort, electric shavers, and you have a, a vent in the bathroom here which makes it nice. But what I really like about these split bathrooms is this feature here. So that door actually clips into the wall right up here. Let's see if we can show you that. See that little circle there? The door is gonna clip right into there. And then you've got hooks on the back of the door for your towels. And then this has got the accordion to separate off the bedroom. So now what I've got, and it's, Maybe it's gonna be hard to show with this camera. But now what I have here is a changing room inside of this motorhome. So it's a nice private room, makes for a nice big changing area when you're getting ready in the morning. All right, on to the bedroom. This is one thing I really appreciate. Big wardrobe off to the left here hanging closet, and then two drawers down below. They're the full depth drawers. You notice how that drawer opened all the way. Metal ruler glides on it, so it goes in and out very nicely. And then storage above the bed, storage on the other side of the bed, nice plug-ins. You have all types of power back here. You have your 110 volt, your USB charging station, and old school cigarette lighter. So you've got it all in here. And then when you lay in the bed, you've got spot for television right up there on the wall. It's already pre-wired with the coaxial cable, your antenna cable, and your 110 volt. So this unit uh, it comes with an air conditioner up on the roof, heater down closer to the floor. So you'll be able to camp in a lot of different temperatures in this and uh, really go down the road 
perfect size. You can fit in most parks with this, no problem at all. You can get in and out of the Walmarts and the grocery stores. So definitely consider this if you're looking for a new Class C motorhome. We're excited to have it back, but there is limited supply. They only built so many of these. We got as many as we could, but again, they will go fast. And uh, once they do, uh, I don't know if they'll be back again. So we're excited to have them while they're here. So grab them up while you can check our website i'll post a link below uh, with the current inventory of this particular model there so if we currently have it in our current price check that link below so thanks for watching and uh thanks for considering america's top selling motorhome brand the thor chateau